All right, Slingbox 500 got it hooked up, lights on, and it is playing on the television. As your sling box is starting, this could take a minute or two. And it takes a minute or two for this to process to work. This is hooked to the HDMI port on my television out of the back of the sling box. And any minute now it should come back to life. And there it goes. And it should turn on here in a second. And you got your choices, live TV, TV gallery, web gallery, apps, what's new on Slingbox, and settings. I go into settings. Right now I have it on the network. It is running on Wi-Fi. Okay, that's connected to my uh, network, which is called Restricted. And I'm just going to go back. And you can adjust your input, your resolution, your time zone, and other stuff. You go into what's new. It'll actually uh, bring you up a list of videos. And it shows you what the Slingbox is capable of doing and other features that they've had uh, added to it. We've got different apps. YouTube, Blockbuster on Demand. Put Netflix on there. Web Gallery. You can browse uh, different uh, television channels directly from the sling box. TV gallery you can set up so it uh, works with your cable box and has your popular shows on it or you can watch the live TV. I think I was watching um, Hallmark Channel on the cable box before I end it. I don't know if the sling box will come back to that automatically. Okay, it's saying no HDMI input because I didn't uh, hook it up to the cable box. Okay, um, yeah, I gotta run another wire to the cable box. So you run from the cable box to the sling player and then from the sling player back out to your television. And go into the web gallery. So if you wanted to watch uh, GoPro Awards Epic Gasoline Burnout, you just click on that and it go right to it. And it works like a regular DVR player.
cables out. <laughs> And of course, quality of the uh, video is only as good as the quality that's being put on dark. So these guys did use a very good camera. Uh, so. Look, that's it. This sling box is shown working. Um, I'll show you the back of the box right here. Okay, you got your HDMI in, which is where the cable would go, and then it goes back out to the television. You can run it directly to your uh, your modem for network cable. You got a USB in, you got audio video ports, and your uh, composite cables for your different colors in and out. But that's about it right there. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. You get to see what uh, you're bidding on, and it does work. So thanks for view viewing, and have a great day.